Hey guys, this is Christine. In this video, I want to address test anxiety, nervousness, and stress. Um, and I was prompted to make this video because of one comment from my Hello and Updates video. I'm going to read the comment to you. It's from Shahad Ahmed. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, please let me know if I didn't. I want to be able to pronounce it correctly. So this is what the comment reads. I missed you. I have been busy with school also. I didn't do well though. I am from Iraq who never studied anything here trying to get into nursing school but the curriculum is way out of my league. The TEAS test is what I'm going to work on this summer. I wish you would make videos about how to be prepared physically and emotionally for test taking. I get panic attacks before and during tests that ruins everything. I love you. Oh, thank you so much for this comment. Um, thank you so much for supporting this channel. And man, first of all, nothing is impossible to learn, okay? There's nothing in this world that you cannot learn. It might take you weeks, it might take you months, but you can learn it eventually. And um, regarding panic attacks before and during tests and that ruining everything, I. I've been there too. Um, my first MCAT exam, I did not do so hot. Um, I knew I was not prepared going into that exam, so that really affected my confidence and it just messed with my head all, all test, all eight hours of the test. And so um, my result was definitely not what I had hoped for. Um, so I completely get it. And also in my sophomore year when I was taking cal calculus-based physics, um, I, I'm, I'm a chemistry and biology girl, but not so much physics. It definitely was challenging and I had to study a lot for it. My first exam didn't go as well as I hoped, so I had to get almost 100 on my final, which, um, which put me on the edge a lot. Um, I was really nervous for that exam. My stomach was queasy all day, couldn't really eat. Um, so yeah, test anxiety sucks, and I, I get you. I've been there. We've all been there, I think. But um, definitely being physically and emotionally prepared, like you said, is, I think, crucial uh, for diminishing anxiety and just not letting it get to you. Although I've experienced anxiety before, I think I have also accumulated ways and tips to minimize that and just, you know, conquering conquering all the tasks without having to feel not confident. Um, so regarding physical preparedness, um, number one is sleep. Um, I know we're all college students and we're like, oh, I have to pull an all-nighter. Mind you, I took pretty rigorous schedule. I remember one semester I took um, like three science classes, uh, two labs and like a research lab. And um, I didn't have to pull an all-nighter. Yes, for one one lab report, I had to stay up till 5 a.m. But um, other than that, like I always got sleep throughout my undergraduate career. And I'm telling you, I think if you work on prioritizing your time right during the day so that you can earn sleep, you can sleep. Um, and I think sleep is crucial. Having a good circadian rhythm for your body and not confusing your body um, leading up to an important test date is so important. I, sorry, let me just fix this. I think um, sleep is so important because, especially when I was taking OCHEM, I realized a lot of these science classes requires critical thinking. Um, it's not just memorizing. So your brain has to be alert and awake in order to think and use some brain power. So. I just noticed a difference, um, and a dramatic difference actually, in my performance and um, my performance on the exam and my exam grades when I slept well versus when I did not sleep well. So I think, you know, if you are lacking in that sleep department, definitely try to work on your schedule. Um, I do have a video on how I manage my time. I think it's called Time Management 101, so go check it out. But definitely do something that works for you to get your six to eight hours of sleep. 
Um, and then another thing is eating a well-balanced diet, um, of course, leading up to the test exam, but also right before the exam. You don't want to go hungry and you don't want external factors to distract you from exams. So that goes with food, you know, being hungry, eating nuts to sustain, sustain you and just for your brain, um, eating healthy fat, eating a lot of carbs because, you know, sugar, glucose, your primary source of fuel for your brain. And yeah, just having a well-balanced diet, I think, is really important to keep up your stamina as well as brain power going. Um, and so emotionally, emotionally, I think I get emotionally prepared through confidence. I think confidence plays a huge role in any task you're trying to conquer. Um, so for me, um, I rather take out one to two hours or three hours each day uh, to study for an exam that's like three weeks away than taking an entire weekend off just to dedicate for that subject. That would make me go insane. And I'm sure in the future, like post-grad, I will have to do that sometime. But at least in, in college, I didn't have to do that as long as I kept up with the material every day. So, you know, from day one, you know, make sure you're getting a really good grasp of the class. Um, you know, what is expected of the class? What does the syllabus look like? What is each day of lecture going to be, you know, going to be like? What's the load? Um, do I have to read the textbook for this class detailedly? Or is this something that I can just go off the PowerPoints? Like just having a really good grasp of the class and also um, implementing a certain study schedule possibly um, just being able to divide you know the material load into how many ever days or how many ever weeks leading up to that exam I think it's so so helpful um, and that's what I do so you know I try not to cram I try not to procrastinate because it just it just does not reflect your best aptitude in my opinion so being prepared um, way in advance and growing confidence, I think, will help you be emotionally prepared. And um, I also want to share how I learned to minimize anxiety just my daily life. Um, in my daily life, I, if you ask any of my friends, um, how was Christine in freshman, sophomore year, they would say she was uptight. She was really nervous and anxious and stressed out all the time because I was um I didn't really didn't have the best balance of school and I I didn't see the need to balance I want I just wanted to dedicate my entire life to this goal um now looking back um not sure if that was the smartest choice um and now I definitely can say with confidence that I have a way better balance in my life and I think that comes with adapting this mindset that school and goals aren't everything it's important it's extremely important but it's not everything life is not all about school and grades it's just not it's not about tests it's not it's about your family it's about relationships it's about your purpose um, and it's about loving others and it's a, it's just so much more than just school and your t tests um and so you know having having to awaken yourself um to that mindset i think is a step forward in diminishing your anxiety and your nervousness um i also try to implement the sabbath day each week um, this requires planning, of course. I would say what it is, is you take a day off. Um, Christians take one day off out of their week um, in order to just get away from the work that's been predominantly um, taking over your life and just do daily activities. Doesn't mean you're idle all day. Uh, you still go out and, you know, do stuff, but things that refresh you. Uh, so for example, that will be like exercising for me, spending time with family and friends, maybe working on like applications for like jobs or just anything but school. And so that really, really refreshes me. Um, just taking a day off, you know, helps me, helps me to remind myself that I'm not alone 
in my journey. You know, if I have a purpose, everyone has a purpose. Everyone is created with a purpose and a talent. And so if I trust that, then my purpose is going to be fulfilled um, no matter what I do. And that makes me want to give my best. And so it's a day of refreshing and just a day of reminding myself of the purpose that I'm here for. And just knowing that it's not solely me that gets me to where I am. It's 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 the help of God and it's, it's the purpose of God. It's the help of my family and just being filled with gratitude and the the confidence that everything will work out in the end. I think that's crucial. And so that's how I deal with stress and anxiety. Um, definitely a, a journey, um, still on that journey, still sailing on the struggle boat, but we'll get all through it, I promise. I hope that helped. Um, I'm so sorry, the lighting is so odd because the sun's coming up, yay, I'm happy. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions. I would love to do a FAQ video next. Um, so ask me any questions or, uh, requests or whatnot. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.